Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. We are doing the Oracle card reading for the month of March and we are using the Australian Wildflower cards. So go ahead, choose option one, two, three, and I'm going to get started with reading. So apologies once again for not getting this reading out there earlier um, in the month. I do try to get it out by the first of the month, but it's just not always possible. Okay, and for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have the cards Lecce Naltia, um, we have Water Ribbons, and we have the Native Geranium. So for the first card here, which is, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but Lecce, Lecce Naltia or Lecce Naltia, Naltia, I'm not sure. But it's a card that is... Um, it will this it's a plant that is defined by success and i think it's usually because it usually springs from um from gardens that have been burnt it's what grows after there's been a season of of some burning or some bushfires rather so these are this is what comes out of nothingness you know it's it's what it, it's a plant that rises from the ash, so to say, and it it might not be easy to grow a plant like this, but it is surely a strength that is emitted from being in under duress, um, from having to survive, from having to propagate the species. And so, when this card shows up, it is. Um, it is an affirmation that you are on the right path, that you are actually doing the right thing, that you are being supported by the universe, that your very makeup is what's allowing you to continue on this, on this path and that it is okay what you're going through. You might feel like you're rising from the ash. You might feel like March is a month where you are being really tested and where there's a lot of growth and a lot of healing taking place. And this is a card of a healer and it's supporting also those who fear success and um, it helps to strengthen the belief in oneself. It's a card, it's a, a plant, the Lecce Naltia, which is very much connected to positive action as a result of being um, perhaps in, in a difficult situation. It's it's a reminder to pursue success. It's a reminder to pursue goals and um, to reactivate your motivations and, um, and perhaps um, re-devise methods that may need your revision. It is a ca ca it's, so I think you'll start March feeling like there's a lot going on. It can be quite difficult, but things are going well. Things are actually moving along and in a good direction. So that is my my opinion of of, um, of Lechenaltia or Lechenaltia Formosa, which is the scientific term. So as you go into March, and March, March is quite a long month, so in the middle of March, you're going to find that you have embraced a lot more freedom. You've suddenly become a lot more available you suddenly have a lot more time on your hands you suddenly have a lot more power to do what you need to do and to do it fast and efficiently so you have a lot more free time um, that tasks have become easier for you and um, things just be become a lot more a lighter to deal with to bear with and it's like you are being stretched out like the leaves of this water ribbons. And um, it's, it, yeah, it's like you are able to stretch yourself further than you normally are able to, uh, to stretch yourself. You've also probably have gone through something like a huge decision making process or something to that effect, something where a lot has come to the fore for you in terms of your emotions, in terms of, um, you know, you might have been thinking quite a lot about where you want to move to, or where you want to live, or where's the right place to be, or what's the right decision to make. And um, and that might have been the way you started the month, or there might have been some kind of uncertainty with regard to people around you, with, re 
with regard to their motivations, etc. But as you reach the middle of the month, you don't have any of that. You're now free to take on new opportunities and to do what you truly desire. You also it also gives you the the um, you also come in touch with the ability to forgive those around you and to be able to trust people once again. If you have we're having some difficulty with that, uh, it's also giving you some kind of uh, um, ability to move around in a way like water does. So you, it's almost like you sway with the water, you move with the water, and um, and you're able to change with the tides, but you need to know where it is that you're headed. You need to have some kind of direction. So as you're moving along in March, you just need to find your direction once again. You need to ground yourself a little bit. And once you've done that and you have an idea of where you're headed to, then you can let this feeling and this energy just take over you and just be able to enjoy it um, very much. It's really about learning to trust once again and learning to trust on a whole new level, you know, because the circumstances that you might have been in has helped you or let you close up quite a lot. I think, you know, the events of the last three years have really brought quite a lot of anxiety to people and I think that um, you you now have an opportunity to kind of come beyond that anxiety and beyond that fear-based uh, emotion and just be able to open up and trust once again and and trust what is important right now trust what is necessary right now and lighten your load and you know just become uh, free all right so as we move on to the end of the month, as you, we come to the end of the month and we start to close up the month, we have the card Native Geranium. And we it is a card of protection, uh, according to this author. And it's, it's a card where you are f kind of needing to ground yourself once again. You're kind of needing to find out what is the right way for you to go ahead. And it's necessary to, to just... Um, snap out of that freedom that you might have been experiencing and become very serious and very grounded. Um, I think it's important to be in balance and to center yourself and to, you might find that people around you are pulling you in different directions, but you need to ensure that you have a bit of time for yourself to take care of you and, you know, where you are spending a little bit of time staying quiet, uh, having some rest, having some moments to reflect and and just to take care of what your own needs are. So it might be that as you come around to the end of the month, you might feel that you're not really able to nurture yourself in the way in which um, you have been previously and uh, or at really at the beginning of the month perhaps. And um, you might feel that some of that power that you've had at the beginning of the month has been dissipated. And so I think you need to take a, quite a, a soft approach to creating a better outcome and to to ensure that your health is prioritized and nurturing yourself is prioritized. You know, you need to ensure that you have good boundaries and you're not feeling overburdened and um, that you are taking care of your health, especially female health. Um, and, um, and if you've been facing some kind of physical challenges, it's time to, to really prioritize that and take care of it. So I think March uh, promises to be quite a dynamic month for you and there's a lot going on and you start off on quite a high note, a high note, but there might be some confusion, there might be some frustration because you might be trying to figure out what, which direction you need to go into or perhaps you need to make a decision and it's just causing you quite a lot of stre um, stress, but you're going to find strength through that. And then I think that as you move along, you find that you're able to go with the flow more easily. You're able to feel your freedom. You're able to feel that release or some kind of relief that comes with as the month progresses. And as you come around to the end of the month, you're feeling the need to ground yourself once again. You're feeling the need to measure yourself a little bit more. Um, just measure your responses to people and um, respect your boundaries and enforce your boundaries as well. And just make sure that you are being taken care of, okay? So that's what the month of March offers you. I hope that is some helpful information and I hope you have a fabulous month ahead, okay? Much love and blessings from Kismet Rising.
And for those of you who've chosen the second option, we're asking, what do we need to know in the month of March? What is our monthly Oracle card guidance for March 2023? And we have, once again, the native geranium, we have the flannel flower, and we have the pink. So for those leaf. of you who've chosen the second option, we have the native geranium, and we have the flannel flower, and we have pink heath. Now, I think um, that for you, the month of March is going to start off where you're feeling the need to ground yourself. You're feeling the need to be quite firm about your boundaries and the need to be to have some kind of direction to re-establish direction in your life so perhaps uh, february has been a bit turbulent or has left you feeling a little bit ungrounded and so as you begin the month of march you're going to need to feel like you are being good to yourself by looking after yourself okay as we move into the middle of march you might find that things calm down quite a lot so it's once again relative to what's happened previously. And I feel like you're going to feel a lot calmer, a lot happier, a lot more satisfied as you go into March. Something's working out for you and something's working well. Um, it's something that uh, you, can, you can allow yourself to feel and you feel well because of it. It feels like you, you do feel protected. You do feel like it's, you can take care of yourself. It's a card that signals that it's time to calm down, it's time to slow down, and that it might be time to uh, have a fresh start, perhaps, or um, take advantage of some of the good things that are coming up your way, and and just be able to um, to open yourself up. You know, if you have some issues like um, fear of being touched or fear of intimacy. Um, you can you can benefit from um, allowing the energy at this time of the month to help you calm down, help you overcome that. It's a yeah, it's a card where I feel that, or a flower rather, that challenges weakness. It challenges you the weakness that you have or the fear that you have that might be holding you back, and it's suggesting it's suggestive of um, a calm that can overcome that, not an aggressive um, strength that can overcome that, but rather just bring yourself to a state of calm and peace so that that can be overcome. The message is definitely slow down and, um, and, and listen to what's going on. Perhaps you need to learn from, um, from, from some kind of emotional experience that you're having right now. You you also have the opportunity to resolve some issues that you might be having or overcome some kind of difficulty that you might be having at this time of the month or that you might have encountered previously, but that now has the opportunity to resolve itself. And so it's really about just a calming down, focusing on yourself as well as on the feelings of others to be able to kind of find a resolution and to be able to improve the trust between yourself and and heal the past hurts and allow new bonds to be formed as well. I think here uh, there's a chance to really put the past where it belongs in the past and to move on from something. And um, I feel that you might have some difficulty with it, but I definitely think that it's doable and that's what the energy is presenting for you. Now, as you enter, I mean, as you come to the end of March, we have the pink heath. And I feel here that you're going to be seeking direction once again, or being shown a direction that you need to take. And it's time for you to set a goal and move ahead. It's time for you to make a choice that will allow you to work in the direction of your goal and to be clear and to be defined and to be 
ready to move with with that without uh, hesitating or dithering. You're just able to, you've taken the break that you've needed and you now need to just plow right ahead um, and just move, yeah, just go on. And if you are if you are waiting for someone else to make a decision for you, you might find that that decision has been made. You might be traveling during this time. There might be some kind of celebration that, or some kind of achievement or some kind of reconciliation that you might be experiencing. And, um, and that, um, yeah, and that might also leave you a little bit tired or exhausted. I want to say that one of the challenges that you might be experiencing here is, uh, some kind of lack of focus. Okay. So it's important to find your focus once again, and to be able to work with that focus and just maintain that as much as you can, as you bring yourself to the end of the month. All right. If you're coming out of some kind of period of reclusiveness or hibernation, or if you recuper trying to recuperate yourself from some kind of illness or trying to begin again, the end of March is going to show you some ways in which you can go about doing that. Um, it's going to show you some direction. So it's you're going to find that as you enter April, you have a lot more um, um, focus and a a much clearer idea of the direction that you're moving into. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope that's been a helpful reading for those of you who've chosen the option number two. And I wish you a very blessed month of March and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. And for those of you who've chosen the third option, uh, we are asking, what can we expect in the month of March 2023? What can we expect? Um, and we're asking this from the oracle cards. All right, so this is your oracle card guidance. And um, we just want to have guidance for the month ahead. And so we have the flannel flower once again. We have the cattle bush and we have the swamp lily. So here we have the flannel flower and that came up in the previous reading. And that's a card that talks about calm. And so as you begin March, you're going to be feeling quite calm or you're going to be seeking what is calm. You're going to be looking forward to having something that is um, bringing you calm. You might visit a coastal area or visit some place where it's um it's where there's spring or you might be um you might visit a flower show or some kind of place where there are a lot of flowers um th but there is this sense that um the message is just to breathe just to slow down breathe and it's about time to make a peace offering with the world it's an opportunity for um a new start it's a chance to overcome weaknesses that you might be feeling. It might be that if there are difficulties that you face in the moment, that you have to learn how to face it in a way that ensures that you maintain your calm. And um, yeah, just to give yourself the opportunity to um, to focus a little bit more on your feelings as well as on the feelings of others and and open up to the healing energy there's a lot of healing taking place for you at the beginning of march and i think that this can be quite a, um, a prosperous prosperous time for you just in terms of your spiritual well-being and in your in terms of your mental well-being as well as your your physical well-being okay and then we have cattle bush and this is a card of persistence and it's talking about how you will if you persist you will be rewarded like you can't stop at this moment. You've got to just persist. You've got to push forward. You've got to keep doing what you've been doing. And I think that as you head into the middle of the month, you might lose your momentum. You might not be able to, you might find that you're not able to focus. And this is a very clear message of don't give up. Continue, regardless of what the environment is like, regardless of what challenges you're facing right now. It is important for you to focus on uh, with the new determination and to just sort problems out without too much of attention to it. Um, 
progress is indicated and it's, it's necessary for you to make this progress. And if you've been feeling like you, you haven't really been moving in any given direction, you're going to find that if you persist now in the month of May, I mean, sorry, in the month of March, why am I saying May, but in the middle of the month, that you are going to make some great headway and that will be felt and will be seen by those around you as well. I think that it's necessary not to be too stubborn and to let go of things that you don't need right now in order to make space for other things and to be able to make space for what activities you need to be uh, uh, taking on in your life. And I feel that if you're feeling weary and worn out and uh, feeling like, you know, you're really tired, just don't give in to that feeling right now. Just keep doing what you've been doing and don't give up too soon, okay? You might just be quite close to your goal and you can't see it right now. So I would say that the month of March, um, the middle of it brings quite a lot of persistence and or quite a lot of energy of persistence. Like you need to persist, you need to push, push forth. And you might feel quite exhausted as you do so, but make sure that you continue and finish what you've begun, okay? There may be some distractions along the way, which will pull you in a particular direction, but I think that it's um, it's not necessary to go in that way. And as you come around to the end of March, what you're going to find is that you do have a renewed energy. You have renewed endurance and a rejuvenated outlook and a new lust for life. So whatever happens in March, it starts off calm. There's this need to persist. And then you just all engines go at the end of March as you head into uh, April. And um, it's necessary for you not to focus too much on the past, not to focus too much on decisions that you might have made or um, things that you might have said. It's necessary to just let go of all that and allow new experiences to infuse your life, you know, and, and um, be able to make a, a f um, be able to make some kind of headway in terms of your relationships, in terms of where you belong, in terms of where you're committed. It's also, there's a, a lot of energy here. So it's, it's looking at what you can do in order to create something, but to be aware of the reaction that you will create and what it is that you truly desire. Um, I think, you know, there is an, um, a chance that you could be a bit overburdened with responsibilities and I think there's a need to manage that and not to take on too much as well so just be quite aware of that I think that um, this card when it shows up like this um, it can actually mean that you are struggling to focus once again because you've got a lot of energy pulling you in various different directions but I think that Perhaps there is a need for a life change uh, or to be able to overcome the depleted energy that you um, you might be experiencing. So don't worry about that and just keep going ahead. Mar March is going to be a fantastic month for you. I think that um, you have quite a soft touch in March and it's quite... Um, it's yeah. It's quite you. You you're in a space where you're kind of really thinking about yourself and what you need, as opposed to what others need. And I think it's really necessary for you to do that and to concentrate on that to push ahead, as far as that is concerned. Okay. So I wish you all a beautiful March. And I hope you all are doing fabulously, and uh, many many blessings. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.